Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice watercolor effect. So let's start. Okay, I'm gonna start from here. So as you can see, there's two layers. There's a texture of a paper and there's a picture of a woman in the forest. Okay, so first in the texture here, put it on multiply so you can see what's behind it, which is the picture. And then the picture, go to filter, filter, filter gallery and put it on dry brush and make sure it's brush size is 2, 8 and 1 and press OK and then now go again to filter filter gallery and put it on cutout and the numbers of levels put it on 8 here 0 and 2 and press OK and you'll have this effect and then click here on the filter gallery of the cutout double click it until you have this and make sure you put it the mode on pin light and press OK. And now, while you're still clicked on the picture, go to Filter, Blur, Smart Blur, and put it on 5 and 100 threshold. Press OK. And wait a little bit, you will have this. So click on the options of the Smart Blur, double click on it, and put it on 50 opacity and screen. Press OK, and you'll have this effect. And now one last thing, you have to go to filter again, stylize and find edges and click on the options of find edges, double click on it and put it on multiply. Press OK and this is a final effect. Okay, the next step will be is go to picture and hold alt and click on the mask and you will have a black mask. So now with the brush make sure you have a white foreground so anything you paint you bring the image back so now what we have to do is we have to go to window brushes and I have a watercolor brush which I'm gonna put in the description you can download it so there's lots of brushes here so what you have to do is you have to choose any one of your liking maybe this one do this this one Just choose the, the one you like most or looks better. I think this looks nice and we're done.